Hi. I'm present. And I'm accounted for. And this is Roll, Roll Call. Call. Role that you would most like to live in. How Do You Like a Child is a show about a bunch of punk kids doing a bunch of punk kid stuff. Like begging for a dog and like staying up past nine o'clock. And I would love to live in that world all the time. Role you could do in your sleep. So, man in the chair in the jazzy chaperone. I would drill the lines at like for an hour every day for once they get to it. And I have tried and I can still say most of these lines. Walk up to me on the street one day, ask me to recite a man in chair line, and I can do it. So I can do so all my sleep. Roll you will never live down. <laughs> <laughs> and I was Mrs. Glue, and I got a fat suit. <laughs> Her name was Helen, and uh, yeah, I'm not gonna live it Roll with the best costumes. Oh, goodness. Uh, when we did Godspell, I was Nick, and I was like, super thug or whatnot. Such thug. So I got to wear, I got to wear a beanie, and a hoodie with like the sleeves cut off, and I had neck tattoos. And uh, baggy jeans and like a, and like fingerless gloves and I was so hard and Converse we all get to wear Converse oh, yeah. I love that costume so much I, I still wear some Roll that changed you the most. Um... So uh, my junior year of high school we did an acapella musical. <laughs> it was so hard. And it taught me a lot about working with others and about working with myself and being patient with myself and with others. And I don't know, I, I feel like I'm, I'm, a, I'm a changed person after coming through the show and I'm, and I'm grateful for it. Role that scared you the most. Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah, this one's easy. Bomber Gutzel. I had like six lines and I was on stage for like three and a half seconds. Oh, but I freaked out so much. Uh, like it was so much fun. I loved every minute of it. I met some awesome people. It was a lot of fun. But the, the college acting scene has pressure to it, and I was not ready, so it, it scared me a lot. Role that made you feel like a star. <laughs> we did Goonie Bird Green in middle school, and that role was so much fun, and I got to wear all these stupid costumes, <laughs> and do all these quick changes, and tell all these stories, and be with my friends, and I don't know, like, it was such a fun show, and I loved doing it, and I loved being that person who was just, basically me in middle school, she was just the worst, but also the best, and you loved her, and I felt, I felt like a star. The role you feel is most important. Like, to me, or just like... That's open to interpretation, it can be oh, most yeah. important to you, most important that it exists, to like an audience, just most important. Is that very important? Is that very important? Um... Senior year of high school, I got to co-direct and star in Hush Little See What You Don't Say a Word. And it was very important to me. It was I got to do it with someone who became a very dear friend. And it was an amazing experience getting to direct for the first time and design. And it really solidified how much I love all of theater doing this show. Role that you were funniest in. Thanks. Oh, this one, this one. I was freaking hysterical. <laughs> I watched this video the other day and all I could think was, gosh dang it, you're so funny! <laughs> and like, and like I had an accent and I did magic tricks and I was nailing the comedic time and I was, oh man, I was, I killed it. I killed it. <laughs> really as, funny. as out of rock. So funny. Bam. Roll that kicked your butt. Um, okay, so... <laughs> So like casting day, I was so excited. I'm like, yeah, this is, this is so great. By the end of the show, my finger had been sliced off. I had bruises up and down my side. My ankle was was busted. I cried over this show more than almost any of the others. Didn't sleep, stayed up late to work on dances. Most fun I've ever had. I love this role. I do it a million times over. But it, it did a number on me. My, it took some it took some physical recovering after this one. The role that you wish more people had seen. So, we did a, a duo interpretation of John and Jen. We did it a few months ago for kind of a variety show, 
and it was such a different role than I usually play, and just, it, it's such a powerful piece. It has such richness to it, and I wish, I wish more people had seen it. Role you were wrong for. Easy. <laughs> he was so right, he was so right for this no, role. No, it was the worst. Born to play it. It was the worst. <laughs> I was cast as like the comic relief sidekick, and then the cast changed, and I had to be Prince Charming, and it was I was I was the worst. I tried to make a point because I didn't know what else to do, and it, the show was a disaster. <laughs> but yeah, so I I should never be cast as Prince Charming. It, it was an awful awful idea. It's nice. No, it's, it's not happening. Role that you totally nailed. I mean, she's basically me anyway, right? Like, I love Little Red Riding Hood so much, I would play her every day if I could. So rarely do you leave a show with no regrets about the choices you made, and I have no regrets about the choices I made in this show. Because just, like, I nailed it. Role you would love to be best friends with. <laughs> uh, so I got to be in a book that you're going to Charlie Brown, but I really got to know Linus doing this one, and he's just a delight. We have so much in common. I think we could just hang out and uh, maybe get drink some tea and discuss life's mysteries. Role that you'd love to be more like. I often feel bad about this character because I don't feel as though I did her justice, but she's so smart and she uses her smarts to be kind and gracious and generous but she doesn't lose her quirk. And I appreciate that so much about her, and I would love to be more like Sarah Crew. Role that showed your diva side. Uh, okay, I'm not proud of this one. So, Ram Das, I was, this was like my first big role or whatever in theater. And I thought I was all that. I added a magic trick to the show. I'm like, I want to do a magic trick. So I just came into rehearsal one day and did it. And the director's like, he's eight, let him go. <laughs> and, and like, I did the accent, which was racist, to be honest. And I, like, I, I thought I was all that, and I was kind of the worst. I was a young diva, and usually I would get broken, and that would be a great gift to society. Role that you had the most fun with. Oh, yeah. Godspell will literally never not be the most fun thing I've ever done in my entire life. It was an amazing cast and an amazing crew. The director was amazing. It was so much fun. I got to wear fishnets and Converse. The whole process was so much fun. And I would do it every day. Role your family loves the most. Oh yeah, they, they've actually they told me this. <laughs> Norman Blansky and the boys next door. I never actually did the show, but I got to do a scene for like a showcase thing. And yeah, and my parents regularly tell me that this three minute scene was the most impressive thing I've ever done on the stage. They, my dad filmed it on his phone and watches it, watches it like, and sends it to people. Like, oh, my son's an actor, here, look at this video. <laughs> <laughs> but no, mom and dad especially, but I think the whole family really likes Norman Glancy. Role that is the least like you. Shere Khan. Oh, yeah. I was so excited to be cast as this because I was a cat and I was a villain and I was thrilled. But it was just, it was a big swing and a miss. I had to fight to make this character what it was and I just couldn't do it. I'm just not, I'm just not a tiger. And that sucks for me because that's all I want in life. <laughs> but one day. Thank you so much for playing Roll Call with us. Feel free to follow us on Facebook or Twitter. Check out our merch. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and stay... Couchy. Actually, catch for the best. And now exit rape. <laughs> <laughs>